Hello guys and welcome to this video. So today we are going to talk about setting up our own portable gaming as well as streaming brain. Now whenever we look at the high-end streamers that we have on YouTube or Steam, we see that they have really high-end configured gaming as well as streaming laptops or desktops in most cases. So the question is, do we actually need a really high-end expensive setup to start streaming? Well, the answer is no. You actually can start streaming with a pretty basic setup and that too you can get a pretty high quality stream. Now, what I'm going to show you guys today is my setup, which is, I wouldn't say um, a really inexpensive setup, but then it is pretty much on a budget compared to how much a person would spend on a high-end gaming PC. Also, if you are a person who's on the move, for most of the time, I would suggest that, you know, you kind of have a look at the setup that I have so that, so that you get an idea about, you know, um, the kind of uh, laptops that you can invest in uh, if you're constantly on the move. Now, uh, we are going to move into uh, the different um, components that I'm using pretty soon. But one thing you will notice is that I am not using a video capture card. Now the solution to that was a pretty simple one. Um, it's something called an NDI, which is provided by OBS Studio. And um, I think I'm not gonna talk a lot about it in this video, but then if you want me to put it in another video, I would absolutely love to. Um, or you can just uh, like look up videos yourself. Um, but NDI is something that I'm using to transfer the screen from my gaming laptop to my streaming laptop. Now, uh, moving on, uh, let's go through the different components that I am using. So guys, for my gaming, I use a Dell G515 laptop, which has a 15.6 inch full HD display. It has the 8th generation Intel Core i7 processor, 16 gigabits of DDR4 RAM, 1 terabyte of hard drive, and it has the 4GB NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti graphics card, which is pretty sufficient for gaming. So for the streaming part, I use an HP ProBook 4440S. This is a pretty standard laptop given that it has only 8 gigabits of RAM and has an inbuilt graphics card. Now, what I have learned from streaming is that the laptop which you specifically use to run Streamlab OBS does not necessarily have to be a very high-end laptop. Uh, you can pretty much use a standard laptop as long as it can run Streamlabs OBS without much of a hitch. Now for the gaming mouse, we have a Logitech G300's optical gaming mouse. This is pretty convenient uh, for people who have the habit of putting their hands pretty flat on the mouse rather than you know like gripping it like this. Um, so yeah, that way it's really convenient. It has three different DPI modes um, depending on the kind of game that you're playing. So I have set it depending on whether I'm playing Counter-Strike or whether I'm playing PUBG, depends. And then you have pretty standard shortcut keys which allow you to like, you know, switch between guns and stuff like that. And overall, I would say this is a pretty good mouse given its price point. It costs around, I guess, 1500 rupees. Um, yeah, and for that price point, I feel like this is pretty convenient. Um, okay guys, so for my headphones, I use the HyperX Cloud Stinger gaming headset. So, um, I really like this because it's uh, really lightweight, it's comfortable, it has a superior sound quality and it's really convenient. Um, apart from that, it can rotate 90 degrees, so it's pretty comfortable for any sort of a fit. And then, above that, it's really good for gaming because the overall uh, sound quality is amazing i would say and the best part is that uh, you can wear it for prolonged gaming sessions because it has what it calls the hyperx signature memory foam so i would completely totally suggest you guys to have a look at these headphones if you're planning for streaming for really long hours Okay guys, so this is something that I would truly suggest that you should have if you are going to stream live. Um, irrespective of how good your internet connection is at home, 
or how good your router is, I would still suggest that you have your own personal router for streaming. Now I use this which is from Tenda and it is a pretty standard router. Um, the thing is that I have pulled a direct LAN cable from my initial router into this and this is directly connected to both my streaming as well as my gaming laptops. Now this gives me the maximum Wi-Fi coverage reducing almost 25% of loss that I was getting from connecting to my initial direct router. So if you want a pretty seamless stream as well as a pretty seamless gaming experience, I would still suggest that you have your own personal router that connects you directly to the primary router or your primary source of internet. Okay guys, so one thing I would like to bring to your attention is that most people just ignore one very basic thing that's needed for gaming and that's the mousepad. What I would suggest is try to get a really nice um, high quality mousepad, uh, preferably um, lengthy as this one so you have enough uh, mouse movement. So um, this is really good if you have low DPI settings for you know things like sniping and this will give you a nice range of motion for your hand. So yeah, I would definitely suggest you to invest in something that's of a good quality when it comes to mouse pads. Okay guys, I hope you really like the setup. Um, what I would like to tell you more about using NDI is that um, I'm using a LAN cable to connect both my gaming and my streaming laptops. Um, and that is what pretty much is being used by the NDI to transfer data from my gaming to my streaming laptop. And what I can say is that the stream quality is pretty good. The video quality is pretty good. So um, why? Why use it in the first place? So a video capture card generally a good one would cost you somewhere around 50,000 rupees. Now to invest in something like that, if you already have um, something available to you at no cost, uh, why not give it a try? For me, it works pretty well because my gaming laptop is pretty much um, capable of supporting uh, OBS Studio as well as uh, the game itself um, running at the same time. Uh, the laptop does heat up at times, but then what I feel is um, if you have a decent cooling pad or if your laptop has a decent exhaust system, it's going to be pretty efficient. So guys, that's all from my side. I hope this video could help you in any possible way. Um, if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out your streaming career or if you're just taking it up part time, uh, I really hope this video could help you in any way. Um, if you like this video, just hit the like button and uh, you know, it would really help if you could share this particular video or just subscribe to this channel. Uh, anything helps a lot. And um, that's all from my side. Uh, thank you. Have a great day. And I'll mention all of the details of all of my components in the description below. And yeah, that's all from my side. Have a great day. Um, God bless. Take care.